Hey there, I'm Robin from Free Events, and this is a developer walkthrough video where I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a bookable event or bookable activity using Free Events and the Free Events Bookings extension. So, to get started, we're going to create a new product. So, hit the Add New button and create a WooCommerce product. For this video, we're going to create one called Bus Tour. So the first step is essentially just completing all the standard WooCommerce fields, such as the description, the product image, the category. We're going to set this as a variable product. And we're going to complete the description over here. We're going to use WooCommerce variations to create the different ticket types. Let's create our own one called ticket type. And we'll have an adult, child, and pensioner option. And we're going to use these for variation. So make sure you check that box and save your attributes. We'll then go to variations and generate the three variations from that attribute. So, so far, this is all stock WooCommerce functionality. We haven't done anything using Foo events just yet. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, using variations is a very handy way to change the price of the ticket based on, you know, in this scenario, whether it's a child, adult, or pensioner, or you might have a VIP section, or you might have a student discount. So, variations is a very simple, easy way to still use that functionality, and it works beautifully with Foo events bookings functionality. So, make sure you select each of these as downloadable and virtual. Reason for this is when uh, when you complete checkout and the product is downloadable and virtual, as soon as payment is received, WooCommerce will automatically mark it as complete. And when WooCommerce marks it as complete, Foo Events will then generate the ticket. If you don't set it as a virtual and downloadable product, That'll only happen when the administrator manually completes the order for the physical product, because they might still need to uh, deliver something physical um, in that scenario. So make sure you choose downloadable, virtual, and you don't need to use stock management because we're gonna use Foo Events bookings for that. So we're gonna set the price of our adult ticket to $10. We're gonna make the child ticket $5. And lastly, we're going to make the pensioner one $6. We can then save those variations. Okay, the next step is to enable the event functionality. So select yes here. This will make it an event product and select bookable as the event type. Venue, we, you know, you'd put the address, if this was a bus booking tour, you'd set the address where the customers would gather for the bus tour. So let's just call it one main road and you can put the GPS coordinates if needed. You can put the direction. Let's just put a dummy phone number and name at This will just be information displayed on the product page that's uh, handy to provide your customers with. You can then also add thank you text uh, to the thank you page, and you can add additional text to the event details tab that displayed on the product page. Most of these settings you can go through and determine for yourself if, if they are needed. For example, if you wanna capture the name of each individual attendee, you can do so by enabling this and the same with the email address. So for, just for demonstration purposes, let's select both of those, but you don't need to. Um, and then we'll scroll down to some of the booking settings. So you can choose to display the slot, which is a time slot first, and then allow them to choose the date, or you can choose the date and then slot. For this scenario, date and then slot would be a better option. And then you can choose to display these date and time selectors on the checkout page, the product page, or both. So let's use both for this demo. But again, these are all dependent on your use case and there's no right or wrong answer. It's just what's right for your particular use case. Okay, let's save our options so long now that we've select the, selected the booking settings. And now we're gonna go create the slots and the dates. So you can go to the booking settings tab, create a new slot called morning, and we'll make that a 9 a.m. slot. And then we're gonna select a number of dates. 
this will vary depending on what you offer and uh, you can select sequential dates you can skip a date to so say public holiday was on a Wednesday you could skip that and you could skip the Sunday as well if you don't operate on a specific day and let's say there's 30 spots on each bus so this is now essentially the stock availability or the seats in this case okay you can then minimize that and use this option uh, which is a duplicate option which will copy the slot so you don't have to set all those dates again so we're going to make this the mid day slot make that at 11 a.m and then the afternoon slot and we'll make that at 4 p.m okay save changes and then the last step that we're going to complete is the ticket settings so we're going to choose a ticket theme. This determines what the ticket will look like when your customers receive it via email. So we're going to choose a default ticket theme. Um, we're not going to choose a logo, but we do have that graphic, which we could use. Well, actually, let's choose the Foo Events logo over here, just so that we do have something as a reference. Um, you can complete these fields as needed. If you want to add additional text, for example, we can copy the text we had over here. And then you can change the colors of the button to match your branding um, as needed. Then scroll down to the bottom and make sure the email tickets option is enabled. And if you want each ticket to go to the individual attendee, that's when capturing the, the individual email addresses, you can select it here. But uh, for this demo, I'm going to uh, send all the tickets to the purchaser in one shot. So they'll be sent in a combined email. So let's save that. Let's quickly preview our event, see how it's looking. Okay, so we've got a bus tour that offers tickets from five to $10. We have uh, three different ticket types, adult, child, and pensioner. And then we have the ability to choose the date of the bus tour and then the slot that you want to attend. And then you can choose how many tickets you'd like to buy. So let's hit the book now button and add this to cart. Then if we go view cart, it should show us three tickets on the 10th of March uh, at 9 a.m. Let me proceed to checkout. Okay, and if we scroll down, this is all the standard WooCommerce billing information. If we scroll down here, you can just copy the purchases information if needed, or you can specify the individual's uh, details as well. So for example, you might use the custom attendee fields to capture um, food preferences, or perhaps they get a free t-shirt, you can use it to capture the, the shirt size, or medical information, depending on the nature of your activity. So now we've completed all the relevant fields, I'm gonna hit place order. Okay. Fantastic, so our tickets were generated, the order's been completed, and uh, you can now receive them in your email. You can also go to the My Account section, the WooCommerce My Account section, go to Orders, open the order, and if you scroll down, you'll see the ticket information is included here as well. This is what your uh, customers will see on the site. And they can also download the PDF version directly from here. And then if we go to our demo email, they'll receive the standard WooCommerce confirmation emails and then a ticket email, which will include the logo, the image we specified, um, any information that we completed, and then your tickets listed at the bottom here. And they can then print this out and when they come to your activity, you can use the free events check-ins app to scan the barcodes and validate that their ticket is valid. And you can also use the free events check-ins app to manage how many people have arrived and see how many people that you're still waiting for before the activity or the booking can start. If you have any questions or any experience, any difficulties, please go to help.freeevents.com, hit the contact button, get in touch, and we'll help sort out anything you might be struggling with. Thanks for watching.